Hey, hello everybody, my name is Lauren and I'm a student animator, like many of you know. And this is kind of what I'm working on right now. It's it's part of my series, this is like season 3 kind of stuff. And yeah, we're in Japan. So, uh, I don't really want to zoom in, just keep it like that for now. And uh, I want to show you a couple of things that I've done to make this drawing a bit more interesting. So the first bit has to do with the way I set up, set up uh, everything really. I'm gonna show you now. So one of the first things I considered when I started drawing this stuff here uh, was composition and I'll show you how. So I began with this character here which is number seven and I placed him right in the middle of the image as in horizontally he's right in the middle and in terms of ver vertically he's um, in the higher half I didn't place him exactly in the middle because that's I don't know it looks weird as hell so I just brought him up also because that's what I was going for because I wanted him to be above everybody else to look even more badass, like I'm above a few bastards, like he was above everybody else, he's leaping um, into a pu into punching somebody, so like he's stepping over this guy and aiming a punch on this one here, so uh, so yeah he's above everybody else he's in the horizontally in the middle and another thing I did to capture people's attention onto him was what would happen in a classroom if there's a noise everybody turns around to hear what that noise was so everybody here in the scene is looking at him absolutely well apart from this guy that's why I'm gonna change him he's in the stuff to fix <laughs> so everybody is looking at him and well not this guy because this guy's dead but you get you get the idea and the th second thing I considered was how people are, are placed so we can see that there's sort of like a circle around this person and then there's like a, another circle uh, hold on I'm recording so I'm a bit lucky so and that was like the second circle so there's that's what I use to maintain proportions of the characters but also their placement gives me the idea that he was fighting one side then the other then the other he was kind of spinning as he was fighting and the fact that he's sleeping front back like from the middle point into the second circle gives you the idea that he's coming a bit forward um, then let's see, obviously the people outside of the circle, so these two girls here, are not fighting, so only the people in the two circles are fighting. There's two more things that I considered, three things actually, to bring people's attention into this. So one of them was to make everything kind of fall onto the character, so these lines here, of the floor and the well, the wooden patterns, because I of of this temple or whatever this place is, because I saw some Japanese picture of Japanese temple pictures, and this is what they had. They had a lot of wooden decorations like that. Not sure why, apart from keeping the building up, but they were very specifically placed. That didn't look random at all. So that's. Just some lines that fall onto the character eventually and are pointed whoops and that are pointing towards the character and then we have um, this one here this horizontal line this one here is kind of blocking the scene and then I have my third point which was um, what was it oh yeah it was about 
blocking the sin. So one of the things that I, I've learned is that I have to two things kind of make the kind of block the sin, so you, the person, the user knows what he's looking at, and second, kind of make the I look around the scene and come back to the character. Everything about the scene has to make you come back to the focal point, which in this case is this guy here. So, <coughs> I added swords, which are of course pointing at him, but check this curve, check how it's blocking the scene. So we have stuff here, I have this sword here, and then I post his arm there and the dead person. So in a way, we're kind of following this parallel here, okay? So, and like I said, it was about blocking the scene as well. So, you cannot see it so well in here because I'm still working on it. Uh, it will look a lot better when I finish the join, of course. But if I turn the what the fuck <laughs> layer, um, you can see I'm planning to add curtains here. Uh, here's this gonna be a lamp, or maybe not, but I'll think about it. And then there's another curtain here, this one here. It would maybe if I do this, you can see it better. Right here. And here. It's gonna be curtains, and that will block the top side of the. of the image and then there's going to be this part blocking it and that this has nothing to do with the scene that's why it's gonna be blocking there's this person here there's gonna be a piece of wood as you can see here at the bottom and then I'm going to have it's written here I'm going to have a bow so wooden piece a bow this sword coming off like that, well he's gonna be holding it so this person's gonna be like this and I don't think I'm gonna add many more things to this because the picture's already really really busy and it's one of the things I was thinking about when I was drawing it I was like, fine it's a challenge for me but it's also quite busy so I don't wanna add too much detail um, in fact with these girls here at the back I don't think I'm gonna add anything to them I'm gonna keep these guys, uh, some of these guys close, quite simple, well not this one here, but most of them are gonna have their very simple looking clothes, with not not too many decorations in them, so like this guy here, he was gonna have a samurai armor, but he'd probably def be the only one, just because I, w I don't want too much detail, it's, it's really gonna be annoying for the eyes and I'm already just to settle things a little more I'm gonna keep him dressing very dark so he's got a black coat as always and some of these characters are dressing in some tons of grey but they're not as dark as this one here even the girls here aren't just as dark as him even though they look like I use two different tones and this one is lighter so yeah, it was about color as well. I'm gonna add a little bit of contrast with where they are dressing dark underneath and light um, of, yeah, over the other clothes just so I get some contrast because I don't want them all dressing white and then him being the only only person dressing black. In fact, he's gonna have a gray t-shirt as well. He dresses, he usually dresses like and but that's about it, that's what I use to direct your view where I wanted to and hopefully it works, okay, so I'm gonna keep on working on it right now and that's one of my tips, so until my next tip, I'll see you later guys